Hello, beautiful people. Today, I want to do a makeup application for a fresh summer look, very light, uh, not too heavy, that will make you look younger. As you can see, and look who came here, look who came here. This is Blakey. He likes to help to do videos. He's the best cat ever. Uh, he will be probably jumping on me <laughs> during the video. He likes to do that. So I want to do a light summer application that will make you look younger, fresher, um, will not require you to spend too much time. Hi, I'm Ala Shapiro. I'm the owner of Two Woodhouse Spas in New Jersey. And this is the spa on the channel where I cover topics such as health, wellness, and beauty. And we're going to start. So as you can see, I don't have anything on my face, no filters, nothing. Uh, my face is clean. That's all I did. And now we're going to apply an eye cream and a moisturizer. But before we do that, I want to talk about this HA Intensifier Serum that will actually help your skin to produce your own hyaluronic acid. And I've been using it every morning and every night. You can use it on your eye area and it plumps up your skin, makes you look younger and fresher. And before you apply any makeup, you should put your serum and moisturizer. I don't have my SPF here, but if you go outside, and even if you don't go outside, in the morning, always put your SPF after you do your moisturizers. Next is an eye cream. I'm almost out of this. This is uh, SkinCeuticals AG Eye Complex. Again, it has um, all the good things for your eye area. It has a caffeine for dark under circles. You see, I do have a little bit of darkness here. And my favorite cream that I do use moisturizer is the triple lipid. Um, I do change my moisturizers. There is um, another one that I really like is AGE uh, from Dr. Babur EGF. And I always talk about these three moisturizers because I do ch change them um, every time. I, I rotate them basically, that's what I want to say. If this is the contact that you enjoy, please give me a thumb up. That will help to promote my video um, on YouTube and to grow my channel. And I do appreciate that. So let's start with the first thing that we do with any makeup, we do correction. So for me, it would be under eye. I do have some discoloration uh, and we will be using our gloss. The color is natural concealer. So you can see not everybody, but I also had, have darkness here in the corner. I do put my concealer here as well. And then I put it here and I didn't take my concealer brush. So I will just use my fingers and fingers are always okay to use on your face. You can basically apply everything without brushes. You can apply, use your fingers. I don't recommend it. It's not easy, but if you're in a bind, you can do that. Next thing, we're going to put some concealer here and you want to put, most people have a little bit of redness here in the, in the corner of the nose. So we'll do this. And the most important thing with any products that you apply is to work them into your skin. And it is easier said than done in front of the lights that I have here, but do use good light and it should be easy to apply. I don't always do this, but Normally, if I just go to work, I don't use a foundation. This is Glow Wish by Huda Beauty. It's my favorite. I, uh, I just love it. it um, it's called Skin Tint. So it's not too heavy and it gives you a really nice, healthy glow. The way I apply it, I put it on my hand first and then I just put little smudges of it on my face. And don't forget to blend it into your neck area. You don't want that some people like put a foundation on their face, but then they don't blend it in. So there is a difference in color. So don't do that. And this is the brush. This is Lux Performance. I, th I think it's from, oh, this is Bare Miner Mineral. So you need a tight brush like this to apply your foundation or skin tint. So we'll just work it in. Actually use this under your eye. It does help to brighten that area. And if you have very dark under eyes, uh, you want to look into the character. For my skin tone, I would use color peach. For other skin tones, uh, you would probably want a more deep peach color, almost red. Actually, you would be surprised, but that color would hide the blue under eyes, or if you have a shadow on the eye. 
Okay, next is see how I work in, uh, work this into my neck because I want to make sure it blends in nicely. So we will start with the eye area first and then we'll move down. I have this product, it's amazing. It's a highlighter. It's called um, Skin Glow Sunset. It's from Girlactic. I recently purchased a bunch of products from them and I must say I'm loving it. I use this color on my eyelids. When I'm in a hurry, I just want to put something on and run out. I use my fingers. It gives you this brightness. And it's super, super easy to do. I also put it into my corner. Next, we're going to do eyebrows. Um, I have this product. I uh, haven't been talking about it much. It's a gel, but it also has fibers. So it has this little brush, which makes it easy to work with. And you just apply it on your brow area. I also recently purchased, I still don't have it, a stamp that stamps your eyebrow area. Now we will see if it works or not. I will definitely make a video on that. So do subscribe so you don't miss out. I do like trying weird products. Most of them do not work, but sometimes I find something that works really well. So as you can see, I have very thin eyebrows. I made a video on thin eyebrows. I made the mistake of doing electrolysis when I was 20 years old on my eyebrows. My eyebrows were thick and beautiful, and now this is what I ended up with. So I do it the best I can. So this product actually works really well. You can see it built up a little bit of thickness. Uh, you can't do thick, thick eyebrows from thin like mine, but you can make them look much nicer. Okay, so next thing, and this is optional. You really don't, I don't do this on everyday basis, but you want like a little bit of a pencil. Pencils open up your eye area if you have the right color of pencil. This one, uh, this one is green. It's it's from Sephora. It's the color is called Fresh Mint. You can't really see the green when you apply. It's more like a brightness around the area, but it does open up your eye area, and that's why I like using it. So under eye first. Now let's talk about using eye pencil on your waterline uh, area, basically this area here. I see many makeup artists showing and using eye pencils there, but this is actually not good for your eye area. You can get infections this way and clog, I don't know what they're called, little pores in there. So you will get like little pimples as a result. So I don't recommend doing it. So you see it's not really green, it's like just a little bit of brightness. And look at this eye and this side. This one looks a little bit more open because of um, the eye pencil. So let's just continue here. Also, don't forget your corners here. And sometimes you just need to clean your pencil because if you have an eyeshadow, it gets on your eye pencil and it just doesn't work as good as when the eye pencil is clean. I also like to sharpen my eye pencils and lip pencil every time I use them just to get rid of any bacteria that might have been there from the last time I used them. And I already did that, so I'm not doing it on camera. So next step we're going to, and this is an optional step, we're going to do contouring. I bought this product, I don't know how to pronounce it, Ogi, 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 E, E. Super easy to apply. And you want it a little bit lower than your skulls. You want it under your chin area to make your chin look more pronounced. Some people put it on their nose. I normally do not worry about this, but I'm going to show you how to do it now. And on your hairline here. And we're going to blend this all. This is the brush that I use. It's from Sephora number 78 Pro Contour. It works really, really well. So just blend it. Make sure that it's all blended, otherwise you'll be walking around looking weird. And bring it down like this. This will actually make your neck look nicer and more defined. And we want to use the highlighter. Again, the, the same highlight I used on my eyelids. I will use the other, uh, this color, and I just bring it higher. Some people do it on their nose, and I don't understand what it does. Let's just do it. I actually don't like it. What do you think? Comment below if you like it or not. Okay, 
Uh, next, I love this new product I recently purchased. I already made a video with it. It's from Radial Blush Drops. This is the most beautiful color that you can have for spring and summer. Just this, it's very, very pigmented. You li really little need like a drop of it. And again, I work it with my fingers. And this is done. Next is the eyelashes. This is from Tartlet Tubing Mascara. I really, really, really like it. I have a similar mascara from Thrive. Tubular mascara, it just coats your eyelashes with mascara. Your eyelashes will look thicker and longer than any other mascara that I ever tried. What do you think? Look at this eye and this eye. I do not wear fake eyelashes. I really want to try, but I'm scared. <laughs> so, so I like my mascara to make my eyelashes longer and thicker. By the way, I lost eight pounds recently. And if you guys want to know how, you should subscribe. I will be making some videos in the future on how I lost eight pounds and I'm, I keep going. My goal is to lose me much more. So I will show you my progress at some point and hopefully by the end of the summer we'll be done with my weight loss. When I don't have a lot of time, I, all I do is mascara and lip gloss. It takes me two minutes and I feel that I'm put together. So last but not least is lip gloss. I have two pencils that I recently got. One is from, um, it's called Lip Cheat from Charlotte Tilbury. It's this color and one is from Drive. What I like about this, you don't need to sharpen it. So I'm not sure which one I want to do right now. Uh, let's do Charlotte Tilbury. It's new, that's why I like to do it now. Then I fill in my lips with the lip pencil and that will make whatever next product you use stay longer on your lips. And I think this color is just so light and pretty for, for the summer. Let me know if you like it too. And I'm not going to use these, but these are amazing things. They are lip glow. From where are they? I can't see anymore. But anyways, we'll, we'll look it up and we'll put it in the description. So they don't give you a lot of color. They just give you this nice sheen. But what I'm going to show you is this new color from NARS. Maybe it's not new from NARS, but it's new to me. It's called Orgasm. I didn't even realize it. I just like the, the color. Let me know if you like this makeup. All the products will be listed below. I don't make money on any of them. The only thing that I can say, if you like SkinCeuticals products, you can come to the spot to purchase them. Oh, one other product that I really, really like. It's from Tom Ford. This is oil, it has shimmer. It also smells really nice. So you just apply it here on your neck, wherever you want, on your arms, and it will give you a little bit of shimmer. It's not too strong. I don't even know if you can see it through the camera, but it just, first of all, it smells good. It's like your perfume. Second of all, like it just shimmers a little bit. Makes you look young and fresh and I feel good when I have all these things on me. Well, I hope you like this video. I hope you keep watching, subscribe, watch other videos. Until next time.